Hey guys, welcome to another Master That Riff. I'm going to show you how to play Soap and a Rope uh, by Chicken Foot with the maestro Mr. Joe Satriani on guitar, of course. So, uh, I'm in standard tuning for this because the recording is actually in standard tuning, even though Chicken Foot played a lot of this stuff half step down live. Uh, and it's all based around uh, this cool little groovy kind of E minor riff. So, the first little bit I'm going to do is the pickup bar. <laughs> And you've got the swung 16th feel to it. So what I'm playing here is open E string. And I'm going to do a pull off three to zero in that E string. And I use my middle finger for that, but you can hear the the swing of that. Yeah. Next two notes, I jump up to second fret the D string, the first finger. Then I play the open E string again. So that's it's a little bit of a tricky string skip that. Picking wise, you might want to start that um, open E string with an upstroke. So you're doing the pull off with the downstroke. Then you're doing the D string hit with the downstroke as well. And the E string with the upstroke. Like that. So that's your first little phrase. Now, basically we're going to play that again, but there's all these little percussive sounds before. And what we're really doing is, because we're playing this on... Uh, the E of your 1 E and of your 4 sixteenths. We're always hitting that on the beat. Yeah, so you hear this little noise. And that's what we kind of are going to do here. So all I'm doing is I'm just kind of hitting the strings. Almost with a little downstroke on the beat. So I can then play that 0 3 0 pull off again with an up and then a downstroke. So it's like... Yeah. Then this time I'm going to do 5 0 instead of your 2 0. Okay, so slowly that goes... Yeah, then we do this again, again the little percussive thing on the beat. Yeah, yeah. Then we have our chord. So I'm playing here basically it's like a D chord with an A in the bass. So I'm playing second fret the G, third fret the B, and then second fret that E string. I use my first, third, and second there, it's standard D chord basically. But I'm playing with the A string as well, just to make it bigger. Then I'm going to play. Pretty much an A chord here, so I'm batting the second fret of the D, G, and B strings with the first finger. Open A string as well. Then I'm going to play two E power chords down and up, and I'm just batting at the second fret of the A and the D string there. Open E string. Okay, so that kind of goes. Yeah. Then we lead into the riff again. So this is why we always have this little pickup. I've got a little percussive thing with a downstroke or down kind of stroke feeling. Up, down, uh, stroke and the pull off. Then we have our, okay, so it's all that again. Then we have this. So what I'm playing here is effectively a little um, chord, a little D with F sharp in the bass. Then maybe like an A with C sharp in the bass. Back to E. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slide my third finger seventh to ninth fret on the A string. And my first finger is then going to bar seventh fret the D and G strings. Okay, so it's like yeah. Then I go down and slide seven to nine on the B string. So it's basically the same shape, just down six strings. Then a bar the A string and the D string, the seventh fret with the first finger. But you have little kind of noises in there as well because you want to keep that groove going. So it's that sort of thing. So I'd maybe do like a down up. Or maybe a yeah, down up. Up, little kind of percussive feel. Percussive thing again. And then this last bit here, I'm going to take seventh fret E string and slide down and play an E power chord at the end. Or an open E string. But you can hear that he hits kind of like the He's probably thinking like this E power chord, so I've got my first finger at that uh, second fret of the A and D strings batting, but you might only hear the, the like an A string being hit, but basically it's an E power chord. Okay, and then you lead into the repeat again. Yeah, just like that. So the thing that's tricky about this is just getting that groove, that kind of 16th thing, and it's all about that little, 
that little kind of main groove, of course, he plays that throughout the whole song. You're coming in on the 16th off the beat. So you've got your one E anda and you're coming on the E anda, E anda. So you're setting that up with a little, little, just a little down kind of pick motion to get you on the beat. Yeah. So I want to say a huge thank to Frank for suggesting the riff uh, this week. Uh, I love that album with Chicken Foot, so it's a great riff as well. Uh, as usual, if you're interested in what's going on at the Massive Guitar uh, Patreon page, go and check the link and see what's uh, happening over there. As I said, there's lesson requests, uh, there's Q&A, and obviously there's um, additional kind of lesson materials uh, with sound slice pages for all the riffs and stuff that I'm doing now as well, which is quite handy. And if you want to check out, just kind of play through some of the sound slice uh, stuff, you can check out Massive Guitar on Instagram posting a lot of that up there now as well and you can always check out Master the Guitar on Facebook and Twitter too all the usual places yeah so have fun with that riff guys and hopefully I will see you soon <laughs>